Yo, what's up, bro? So I want to talk about something that I've been reflecting on a ton. Like I've been reflecting a lot this past week in particular, a lot of reflection, a lot of reevaluating, a lot of deep journaling, a lot of just sitting and thinking, right? I've been thinking about not necessarily burnout, but I've been thinking about sustainability and I've just been thinking about a very long term view of what I'm doing here. So my goal with this YouTube channel, with my Instagram page, with all that, is basically to document the process of me going from point A to point B, and point C, and point D, and point E, right? Going to, going from where I was in April of 2022, overweight, being addicted to instant gratification in general, a lot of negative vices, negative habits, to now down 64 pounds, 63 pounds, just super, I don't want to say militant, but like disciplined in my daily habits, my daily routines, my daily process. I'm very, very dialed in, very focused, and I can hold myself to really any blueprint that I set for myself, which is super exciting because now anytime I decide to do something, I know I can just do it. Like I can just follow through on it and as long as I build out the plan properly, the result will come based on the fact that I can follow through with the actions, which is so exciting. That's like when you build that skill in yourself of being able to follow through on what you tell yourself you're going to do, you can literally do anything. You just say like, oh, I'm going to do this. And at that point, it's pretty much done when you've built the skill of discipline. Right. And so I've been reflecting and thinking one of the main things that I've been thinking about and that's been bothering me is I upload every single day. I post every single day on this YouTube channel and sometimes, not even sometimes, a good amount of time, a good amount of the time, I'm just posting to post. Like at the beginning when I first started posting every single day about four months ago, I had something to say every single day. But now I'm at a point where I don't necessarily have something to say every single day. And it's gotten to the point where I'm just repeating things and feeling like I'm just posting to be able to say that I posted. And that's not my goal with this. My goal with this is to be able to document the entire process and share the things I learn along the way in a concise way and a way that shows the progress. That's why I was thinking like every single day I'm going to post because I want to be able to show the progress every single day. But I don't think it's conducive to the end goal and I don't think it's optimal. I don't think it's the best practice. So I'm deciding that I'm going to start posting every other day now. And because of that, it'll give me a little bit more space to be able to actually flesh out video ideas and record actual videos where I set up the camera and I sit and I talk and I really outline my my thoughts and ideas in a way that's more digestible and more understandable. And there's less, I guess, contradictions in the way that I'm speaking and the things that I'm saying. So yeah, man, that's basically what this video is about. That's like the main thing that I've been thinking about recently is like, is it is it the best practice for me to be uploading every day, even if I don't think that I have something to offer every single day? Like, it's not always a new thought, or it's not always even a super helpful thought. Like, I, the weird thing is that I can. Like, I know that I can continue uploading every single day, but I don't know if I want to or should. So I've been debating on this. I've been thinking about it, and I think I'm going to end up going to once every other day, plus the podcast. Right. So I think maybe it would end up being like Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Monday for the pod or Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, the pod. I don't know. I have to think through like the actual schedule I would end up wanting to be on, or maybe it would just actually end up being every single other day, you know, every other day. I don't know. This is just what I've been thinking about because I don't want to just be uploading to say that I uploaded. I do believe in quality over quantity, but I believe in quality and quantity. So I'm trying to 
figure out a happy medium with it where I'm still uploading consistently, very regular basis, but not uploading just to upload. Like, I don't want to have to film a video just because I need the video to come out the next day or just because I need the videos to be lined up so that I'm able to have every single day pre-uploaded. Like, it doesn't feel right. And that's where I go when anytime, like... <laughs> For every decision that I make, man, I go into how it feels. What does it, which is weird because I don't like to make decisions based on my feelings. But in terms of like intuition, I like to really check my intuition with things like this. And for me, it doesn't feel right to post every single day if there's not a reason to do so. Like if there's no actual, there's, if there's nothing I want to say and there's nothing that I've really come to a conclusion about that I want to offer, then it doesn't feel worth it. Like it, it doesn't really make sense to me. So that's kind of where I'm at, bro. Probably going to end up going to once every other day. That's what I'm thinking. In terms of the stress I've been going through, I think everything's kind of like figured out now. So that's good. Just kind of like enjoying the it's weird man it's a very stressful situation but i'm almost enjoying observing it and witnessing the the way that my emotions and my thought processes happen throughout it because it's like there's a lot of ups and downs and there's a lot of like oh why am i thinking in this way in relation to it and why is like why am i why am i falling back to old thought patterns like, is it just the comfort that I'm seeking? Or, like, it's such an interesting dynamic. Being able to witness the thoughts that go on in your brain and witness everything. There's a book called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. And that's the first time I was ever introduced to the idea of witnessing your thoughts, being the witness in your brain. And it's a very interesting way to go about life. Because it almost makes you an observer of your own reality. Which is so weird bro it's such an interesting way to live and i heavily enjoy it so that's where i'm at right now been journaling a lot been reading a lot 75 hard is going incredibly well man like i i refuse to miss on 75 hard even with stress going on even with anything i refuse to miss on 75 hard the diet has been immaculate the the training has been really, really good, except yesterday. Yesterday's workout was just not good. I still did it. Like, I still went in and hit the workout. But, like, for example, with pull-ups, I can usually do four sets of 10. I did four sets of, like, eight, eight, six, five. Like, it was just, like, my strength was down. Everything was down. It's probably from sleep. But, you know, we keep moving. I'm going to hit uh, a pull day again today. Yeah, man. I appreciate you watching. I hope my channel is helping you. The videos that are going to come out going forward, again, every other day probably, and I'm actually going to have like sit down conversations with the camera where I've fleshed out the idea and planned it. Kind of like a few of the recent videos that I've done. I really enjoyed filming those videos, but again, it has to be something where like I've actually been like, my brain has actually been like ruminating on it and the idea of it, like the kindness video, for example, my brain was really like, that's been something that I've been thinking about a lot the past little bit. And right now, like my right now, the thoughts that I'm ruminating on are like limiting beliefs. I'm definitely going to make a video about limiting beliefs. Desf defining who you actually want to become and how to actually do it, like how to actually define the, the standards and the values and the and the lifestyle that you want to live. Ideally, that's something that's been ruminating and I want to talk about. So. There's a few more like realistic, like what's realistic. I, I've been like so frustrated about like other people's limiting beliefs being imposed on people and them taking them as fact. There's a quote co where Ed Milet said, most things in life are caught, not taught. Where in, in that like growing up, you catch different beliefs from other people that you're around. Kind of like you catch a cold, you catch different beliefs that people kind of just like impose on you not out of like malice they're not trying to like 
hinder you, but they're trying to help you. And they end up just telling you what they believe and you end up believing it. And then it turns out to not be true, not be something that you even believe. And that's been such an interesting thing that I've been thinking about. So this is where I'm at. This is where I'm at. I hope you're having a good day, afternoon, evening, morning, whatever. I appreciate you watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care.